What's up guys, Droid Effects here, coming at you with my first tutorial. What we're going to be doing here today is doing the paper text effect as seen on my background that I have right now. So let's start on the tutorial and head on into Photoshop. You're going to want to create a new document, 1080 by 720. Let's make it, name it paper effect. Hit OK go to layer new fill layer gradient hit OK now for the colors you're gonna wanna have it a dark blue and a lighter blue then just hit the double color one go to radial hit reverse and scale up a, get a bit to give it a really good mixture hit OK then go to your text tool type in your text I'm going to make mine Droid FX. Scale that up a bit. That seems good. And the font you're going to be using right now is Slant. So just Command click on your text. Go to s or Control click for PC. Go to select, modify, expand, make it about 15 pixels, that seems pretty good. Layer, new fill layer, solid color, okay. Now you're going to want to make this color a lightish brown, I'd say. Then you're going to want to get your paper texture. Which you can get from either Google Images or DeviantArt. Just type in lined paper texture or crumpled lined paper texture. Bring it into your current document. Now you're going to want to put it over your text. Apply that. Create a clipping mask on your paper layer. That's good. Now bring your text layer over the paper layer. You're going to want to drop the opacity on your text layer just a bit so you can see the paper. Okay, that seems alright. Then what you're going to want to do is double click on your paper layer. Go to drop shadow. Make the spread about five, five or six I'd say distance. About ten. And this size right there I guess. Hit OK. Then you're going to want to take a render, which you can get from jwrenders.com. Very helpful site. Helpful site. Go check them out. Then go to your current document. Take your little gun that you have here. Angle it. You're going to want to put it behind your text. Okay, that seems right. Scale it down a bit. That seems good. Take your eraser tool. Just erase the bear that's showing on the text. And you're going to want to do the same thing that you did for the text that that you're going to do for the bear. So just drag the paper layer onto your current document. Put it over the bear again. Scale it put it over go to create oh fudge I forgot a <laughs> forgot the part that's most important so then you wanna go you, then you're gonna command click go to select modify expand make it about 15 pixels again that seems pretty good layer new fill layer solid color Okay, make it a lightish brown. Okay, then you're going to want to take your paper layer again, bring it back in here, put it over your bear, scale it, apply, create clipping mask, put your bear over your paper layer. 
so you can see it. And you're going to want to drop the opacity on it. Maybe put a little color overlay. Make it brownish, I guess. Okay. No. Ah, yeah, that's good. Click saturation. Change the color of the Barrett. Okay, because it was too close colors to the text. Fix it up a little bit. Then you're going to want to take a soldier render. Put him into your little um, document. Scale him down a bit. That seems pretty good. Apply. Command. Click. Go to select. Modify. Expand. Make it about 15 pixels. Click OK. Go to layer. New fill layer. Solid color. Click OK. Go down to brown. Make it lighter brown. Click OK. Then you're going to want to go to your paper image. Bring it over here. Put it over your soldier. Your render. Whatever you want to call it. Apply. Then you want to create another clipping mask. Put it over the paper layer. Drop the opacity on your render. Put it up a bit. That seems pretty good. Drop a bit of a shadow. No, wrong one. On here, put a drop a bit of a shadow. Scale it up a bit. Okay. Drop a shadow on here. That seems pretty good. Gives it a little three D feel, I guess you could say. Now to create your tape, you're gonna want to go to the rectangle tool. Make it about this size, I'd say, a little thin piece. Okay, now you're gonna want to make it a mixture of like gray, blue kind of color, I guess. Okay, now go to your brush. Go to the little uh, sideways arrow drop down. Go to assorted brushes and hit OK. Then you're going to want to go to the star brush. Click and then rasterize the shape. Then you're just going to want to click around. Oh, wait, no, wrong thing. Go to your eraser tool, sorry. Go to assorted brushes, OK. Go to star. Race around a bit. Kind of play with it. See what you can get. That looks pretty nice, I guess. Okay. Now just double click your shape. Drop the opacity to give it that little clear tape feel. And you're just going to want to move it over your text. So just put it up here. Put it over there. Angle it. Give it that little tape effect. Okay. Apply that. To duplicate that, just click Command J. Now just move it over on the other side, I guess. Just kind of angle it a bit different, though. Resize it. That seems about right. Oops. Apply that. Now what you're going to want to do for your tape is drop a shadow. Again, gives it a little 3D feel. Put the distance at about 4. That seems about right. Do it for the other tape. Drop shadow. Put it about 4. Okay. Now you can just keep on making these, putting them wherever you feel is right. Move it over, put it on your guy. You can put it on the gun. That looks pretty good. Resize it. Apply. And just make a few more tapes. We can put it on the foot. Resize it. 
and hit apply. Now you can put one on the gun as well. I'm not going for an amazing look right here, just kind of teaching you guys the basics of this really cool effect. There, that seems pretty good. And that about wraps it up for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been Droid Effects. I'm out. Peace.